Hello everyone. Uh, my name is Zbigniew Rubalik. I know that my name is pretty hard to pronounce, so I don't feel about, bad about this. Uh, I will talk about, just briefly talk about uh, how we can build functions uh, without Docker or Podman. So uh, why this is important? Because as you probably all agree, some people don't want to have Docker on their machine or Podman. Some people are even not allowed to have, have this kind of technology on the laptops or some would like to have some flexibility. So before I go, I will just just quickly go give an overview of functions. I suppose you learn all the go good things from Lance's and Mauricio's talk, but just to highlight some things. So basically, we are using the KNFunk plugin to drive the functions, and the main thing is that the container images are being built uh, by by build packs. So this st this step requires Podman or Docker on the developer's machine. Once the container is produced, then it's deployed as a standard Kubernetes native service. So basically the standard workflow when developing functions is just I will create, let's say I would like to create a node function. So I will run the first command, then I will implement the business logic, uh, and then I will uh, deploy my function, and I can repeat the, those steps till forever. And this is the step that requires Podman or Docker on developer's machine. How we can solve this? So uh, we have already uh, Kubernetes on the cloud somewhere on internet, so why don't we use resources on the, on the Kubernetes cluster? There are a couple of options. Uh, some of them is, um, some of, one of the options is basically we can uh, use Tekton to define a pipeline that will drive the build and deployment of the function on cluster. Uh, there is obvious a problem how to get the source code from developer's machine on the, on the cluster, so again, we have multiple options. So the first, let's say, obvious option is that uh, we can push the source code to some Git repository and then just fetch the Git repo uh, on to the cluster via Tekton and then execute build and deployment. The second option uh, could be uh, to directly upload the source code from the developer's machine to the, to the cluster. Uh, this might be beneficial for, let's say, uh, uh, when we are developing the function and we would like to iterate fast so we don't want to go through the, through the Git repo. Another option might be not to use Tekton at all, and we can just package the source code as, a, as an image and push it uh, to some container registry. Uh, this has been proposed by Mink, for example. Uh, but I suppose that uh, the Tekton, Tekton approach has several benefits because uh, this way we can easily plug the CI CD solution uh, to our system. We can have some stability. Uh, then we can also cache. Uh, cache the build artifacts or even the image layers uh, on the cluster, so the builds are then faster, etc. So I will just quickly show you a demo. So basically, th this is uh, this is node function. It's very simple, just generated function. It's not important, but the important thing is that basically that I will I will use the approach with the Git repository. So all I need to do is to specify the Git repo that contains the source code of the function and specify a build type to Git. Because we have uh, limited time, I already pushed the source code to the Git repository. So all I need to do is to execute, execute the deployment. So I will just write func deploy. And as you can see, it starts doing something. I will go back to my presentation. And uh, this diagram might help us uh, understand what's happening under the hood. So basically that guy on the left that might be me or maybe you or some other Docker hater. So uh, the func CLI then creates all the resources for me. So basically it creates Tekton pipeline with tasks. So there are three tasks at the moment. So first task basically clones the repo uh, and stores it uh, on the persistent volume that's been as well created for me. Then uh, I can execute the uh, build packs task that will build the function build the container and store the image digest. And finally, I can uh, use this image digest to reference a container in my container registry and deploy, deploy the function as a Knative service. If I go back to my, to my pipeline, it's still, it, as you can see now, it is, it is deploying to the cluster. It is running on Minikube on my laptop, so it might be a little bit slow. Uh, anyway, so this is the approach with the Git repo, and if we would like to use the direct co upload, we can just uh, we can just change the first task in this in this pipeline 
uh, where we can implement some, let's say, basic receiver application that will wait for open connections. And then we can, from the developer machine, we can open a connection to this, uh, to this pod and basically copy, copy a diff of source code or something like that and then execute the build again and deployment again. Okay, so let's see if my function has been built. So as you can see, my function has been built. I'll just quickly check. Sorry, typing my hand. So as you can see, <coughs> as you can see, the function uh, is up and running. We can we can also check the pipeline, uh, the Tecton pipeline stuff. So we can uh, describe. Yeah, and we can check the latest pipeline run. So as you can see, this is the Tecton resources that has been generated for me. So uh, me as a developer don't need to know. But uh, as as you can see here, I can check the the status of all all steps. So the first is it's the fetch resources, then building and deploying. Okay, so that's all. Thank you for your attendance. And